Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today we'll learn about a very important topic, the MRI of the prostate. The prostate is a small but very important gland in the male body. It is located just below the bladder and surrounds the urethra. When this gland becomes inflamed, infected, or develops a tumor, it's very important to diagnose it early, and that's where the prostate MRI helps. Through this scan, doctors can clearly see the structure, size, and any internal abnormalities of the prostate gland. So let's go step by step to understand how a prostate MRI is done, its purpose, preparation, and how to interpret the report. Let's get started. Two TSE Sagittal Planning Plan the sagittal slices on the axial plane, angling the positioning block parallel to the interpubic fibropartilage and the anal canal. Check the positioning block in the other two planes, ensuring an appropriate angle is given in the coronal plane, parallel to the interpubic fibrocartilage. The slices must be sufficient to cover the entire pelvis from the right acetabulum to the left acetabulum. The field of view must be large enough to encompass the prostate and seminal vesicles, typically 180 mm to 200 mm. Additionally, to minimize artifacts arising from arterial pulsation, peristalsis, and breathing, consider incorporating saturation bands on the top and front of the sagittal block. T2C Coronal Planning Plan the coronal slices on the sagittal plane and angle the positioning block vertically across the prostate, as shown in the picture. Check the positioning block in the other two planes, ensuring an appropriate angle is given in the axial plane, parallel to the right and left hip joints or ischial tuberosity. The slices must be sufficient to cover the entire prostate and seminal vesicles. Additionally, to minimize artifacts stemming from arterial pulsation and breathing, consider incorporating saturation bands on the top and front of the coronal block. T2C Axial Planning Plan the axial slices on the sagittal plane. Angle the positioning block horizontally across the prostate, that is, parallel to the base of the penis. Check the positioning block in the other two planes. An appropriate angle must be given in the coronal plane, parallel to the right and left femoral heads. Slices must be sufficient to cover the whole prostate and seminal vesicles. Additionally, to minimize artifacts arising from arterial pulsation, peristalsis, and breathing, consider incorporating saturation bands on top and in front of the axial block. 